This is a demo of my Java Sequencer app. It's running on Raspberry Pi, hooked up to USB hub, with Backsboard connected, and my keyboard connected, and it's running through Putty. It's already open, and all the devices are connected, so I can do stuff like push a button, and you'll see up here it added the note to the step. I added note C2. So the backboard is used as the controller. So I'll push a button and it'll advance to step two. I will play note two, note three, note four. And right now it is just set to have four steps, but that is programmable and can be changed. And you can turn record mode on and off so that you can play over the loop if you want and start and stop the loop from the control pad. And also control the time using a knob on a MIDI controller and that is programmable to be any controller you have in the settings. You can speed it up, you'll see the keyboard. So right now it's set not to record my notes so I can play and it doesn't play them back. But if I come over here, you can hit the button, turn record mode back on, and I can play some notes with it. When you have a wrong note like that, it's pretty easy. You can push the button to stop the sequencer. You can advance to the step. The uh, play step button, that doesn't sound good. And you can clear the step and then re record. So let's go with this note. Let's restart the loop again. And if you really mess it up, you can stop it. You can clear all the notes and then we'll play it again and it won't play anything. And you can make your own loops pretty easily. So let's do this one with a chord. Chord two. Chord three and chord four. And now that we have that, we can turn record mode off and then play the loop. And again, we can control the speed. You can make it go faster. <laughs> and slower. You can also add and remove steps. So now it's set to six steps, with only four recorded. Also set a note to tide, which means it won't stop it at the end of the step. 